Hi, I'm Mike K. Smith, and on 3rd of December 2021, I'll be releasing my debut solo album, Chaos and Stillness, at mikeksmith.bandcamp.com. In this video, I'd just like to walk you through one of the tracks on that album. It's the guitar track, and I just want to show you how this track is set up. Let's first look at this first group. It involves a fantastic plugin from Slate and Ash called Auras. This is a Native Instruments contact sample library. And you can see here it's got a rather minimalist interface, but it's got three different layers on the patch. And the description says it's bold texture with the dissonant drone and bright tremolo coming out on the slide. Now let me explain what the slide means here. Slate Nash Auras is a plugin that reacts to MPE, or MIDI Polyphonic Expression. And what that means is that as you slide your fingers up the, the keys on an MPE controller like the Roly Seaboard, it will release that second layer and bring out that uh, bright texture. And that means that as you're playing, you can change notes, you can do mod wheel type expression, but you can also release different textures just by sliding fingers or pressing fingers or wobbling fingers on the notes. It's really, really cool. If we look at the envelope for this, we can look at slide. So you can see here the slide information that's coming from the controller. And if I solo that, this track, you'll hear that brightness come out as I slide my fingers up. The other thing to notice though is that the slide information is kind of messy. I'm not sure whether that's a factor of Ableton or the controller or something else. So what I've done here is to employ a trick in Ableton using the MPE control device. And what this does is that it just takes that input MPE information and smooths it out. And that means that you get gradual changes in that information. The other trick I'm using on that here is to use Valhalla Shimmer. It's my go-to shimmer reverb. And I think it just sounds awesome. The Valhalla team have done an absolutely brilliant job here. Uh, it makes everything sound wide, lush, sparkly. It's just, it's just beautiful. And then I've got some dynamics processing here. So I have two tracks of essentially the same instrument, just playing different notes. Here it's, uh, the chord is fairly static. Here the chord is changing. The third one here is again Slate and Ash Auras, but on this one it's a cello texture with dynamic tremolo and octave control on slide and press. So it just means that, again, I can alter the timbre and texture of what you're hearing just using slide and press on this Roly controller. It's very nice. So that's the Auras group. Let's listen to this group, which is the Spitfire Audio Labs. Here, textural pads. I'm using a trick here where using the strange mod device, it's controlling the expression and dynamics from that device. I love this device uh, by Dylan Baston. You map different attributes of your plugin. But the really lovely thing about the device is that it changes the values randomly, but also smoothly. And because it's mapping a little particle in space, the changes here are chaotic, uh, but also slightly correlated, slightly related to each other. And that means that things change in a, in a very nice, smooth way. I'm also using Valhalla Supermassive. Again, love, love, love this uh, plugin. 
uh, the huge reverb and delay noises that come out of this are just suited to my kind of music. It's a very similar story here on this channel, except I'm using a different patch. So these are the kind of upper droney noises. If I play both of these together, you've got the kind of more stringy texturally stuff from the Slate and Dash auras, and the more kind of high end glisten from these uh, Spitfire Audio Labs patches. Big feature in this track is the is the guitar part. And this was me actually playing guitar. I have two channels here, one running through Guitar Rig, which is a fairly straightforward AC50 emulation, and a clean reverb, which again is, is using Ableton's own guitar amp settings and a hybrid reverb. Please excuse my guitar playing. I feed similar samples here through a big effects chain. So I have some effects from uh, Guitar Rig, giving a nice reverse delay, other different delays, and then adding Valhalla Shimmer at different shifts here, so an octave shift, perfect fifth shift. I'm using reverse guitar samples here, I'm applying same kinds of effects as used on the main track, but because they're reversed, you get a nice, slightly different effect going on. Last but not least is my bass drone. Uh, I love using this bass synth from uh, the Max for Live instruments. It's just a very simple bass synth, but it's easy to dial in really nice sounds. So I've got that set up. I'm driving it through a saturator to bring out different harmonics. And this coffee pun plugin really adds just a massive amount of low end to this which I'm then trying to tame so that's the track and it's a combination of drones textures and guitar fairly heavily processed guitar Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy the album. <laughs>